Greetings and welcome to Energize You TV, season five, episode number 33. I'm Angel Marie Monticelli, your host. And would you like to have more energy, have better health, and have joy to boot? Well, then you are probably leaning in because you're like, yeah, I want all those things. And today we're having thriving and health, prosperity, and joy in every breath. So I'm so glad that you're here today. And you know, every week we take from the Ignite book, which is raise your energy in 30 seconds or less naturally so you shine with more energy, joy, and abundance. So go ahead and get your copy and come with us as today's topic is the health topic. And today we have a special, special. And I, every four weeks we have a special, we have a panel. So let's take a breath right now, because when we do this breath, what happens is it affects the whole world. It really does in our energy vibration. Doesn't it feel good? In through your nose, let's take that breath. There you go. So I selected this panel just for you. And not only are there doctors, coaches, spiritual guides, dear, dear friends, and yes, heart-centered light workers, they're experts. Julie Dion plus Dr. Sell and Kathleen Carson will be here giving you those valuable golden nuggets. And yes, write her down or so go get your water, go get a pencil and paper. And these are writer downers because they're going to help you to boost your health. Also, to have more balance and joy and also that spiritual growth that everyone's looking for and that also that joy. So I know that you're going to love this one because the study shows that meditation helps and improves and the increase of your brain function and enhances spiritual inner and inner and outer peace. And it also helps with your emotional well being. So, and that is why for over 20 years I've been teaching meditation and love to connect with the meditation. So, I know that getting into alignment sounds good to you. So what I'm do is every show at the end, what we're going to do is connect with a 10 minute meditation. Now this isn't just a meditation. It's an activation visualization. It calibrates your energy and you can use it all week because you know what? I hope people that feel stuck, that feel heavy, find spiritual answers. So go ahead and be kind. Even my guests that are waiting, go ahead and move this show around and give it to your aunts, your uncles, your sisters, because they all want to know what to do and how to show up. So thank you so much for being so kind and helping your friends to connect. So everyone, what is energy? Everything is energy, isn't it? And you can feel it. Like sometimes you walk into a room and your stomach drops. That's energy. Or you say, hey, Dr. Sell, how you doing today? And he's like, oh, yeah, I'm good. Oh, I'm good. And you're like, eh, I don't feel like it's all that great. This reading, feeling energy. And the thing is, is being a Reiki master, spiritual counselor for almost three decades has helped me to connect with people in such a beautiful way to help them with their vibrational field to really experience how to manage it, how to, how to also balance it. And if this is resonating with you and you're leaning in, let's do it because Einstein said, and I quote, energy never dissolves, it merely changes forms. So that's what we do all day, every day, is change the form of the energy. I love this chart because this chart shows us that the, the numbers are relative, but these, these numbers show that when you were in grief, shame, blame, guilt, fear, down here, trying too hard, could have, should have, would as, and we're like heavy, it brings our vibrational field down. And as we bring it up to nurture, to acceptance of what is happening, to that love, to the joy, to grateful gratitude, peace and compassion, this is what I do in spiritual counseling, and this will help you to see how you can move your vibration up because you just really are energy. That's all we are. And we can see that by this right here, that this is an aura photo. And I've been doing aura photo ratings, and this is what I do when someone comes in for a Reiki session, energy healing session. 
they get an offer photo before and after. Powerful. So you really are just connecting to you, your energy, your vibrational field is all that you're doing. In this chart, in this visit, how this comes together. So fabulous, fabulous that you understand about energy and how to connect. So let's just take a moment now and imagine to release the energy in 30 seconds or less. So everybody take a deep breath and relax. Here we go again. We are shifting the energy, the frequency of, of the world by doing this and knowing that you feel better. Don't you feel better by just shifting the energy? And I do this also in a meditation here locally in Phoenix, Arizona, actually in Carefree, Arizona, at the world's largest sundial on the new moon. Come join us because... It's powerful when you're there in that vortex and also that beauty can help you to shift. So you know what? Right now, right here, we're going to hear from a from a, an amazing lady that's going to give us a spotlight moment and tell us about some health. So here she comes right now. We Aloha, everyone. I'm Marie Minor Nugent with Touch of Healing. I'm honored to be here today on Energize You TV. Thank you, Angel Marie, for your amazing energy and the platform of inspiration and hope that you bring. You are such a positive influence in this world today. Now, let's dive into the golden nugget I'm sharing with you about sleep. It's so important to prioritize quality sleep, and it's your body's sacred time for rejuvenation, repair, and restoration. So once you lay down, and you get comfortable, close your eyes, focus on calming the mind and soothing your energy flow that's all the way through your body. Release tension and invite deep relaxation from the top of your head to the tips of your toes. Find peace as you doze off to sleep. Thanks again, Angel Marie, for this opportunity and a big thank you to each and every one of you, our inspiring viewers, for joining us on this adventure of energy, joy, and healing. Oh my gosh, wasn't she like a fabulous, right? She was on last week talking about sleep. Check it out last week's show because it is powerful and it'll help you a lot. Now, right now I have a quote and I love this quote. It's out of the Art of Connection book. And also Julie Dion, who's coming on a little later, she's in this book too. Also, Kathleen Carlson is in this book also. And for today we have Ella Baldra. And she says, holistic abundance is about being present in all, in all areas of our lives. It's about inner and outer freedom and fulfillment and fabulous healthy habits. I love fabulous healthy habits, right? Because when you have a habit, it becomes a permanent movement, doesn't it, in your life? So I love this. So thank you so much and to Ella. And I believe it's E-L-L-E -L -L -E and Beldrin is how she pronounces her last name. So thank you so much for that. You know, and that just really inspired me to talk about a divine moment. And in a divine moment, these are messages from your angels. So what I'd like to do, and yes, this is my book, is to give you a little reading from here. And let's just pick one. Let's pick what? Oh, allowing Number secret number 22 and what the quote is, so I'm quoting myself, is shine on is allowing your light to glow. When you shine your light, when you are in that vibrational field of the moment, you shine so bright and that helps you to allow your life to happen. Powerful when we allow our life just to unfold with such peace and gratitude. So, wow, thank you so much for that, right? Oh my gosh. And do you love crystals? Because I love crystals. And I love teaching crystals and showing crystals and I love wearing crystals. So, you know what? We have a special for you. It's a spotlight moment with a crystal. But first, we need to go to a commercial message. So, we will be right back after this message. Traditional business cards are often lost or forgotten. 
This can lead to missed opportunities and wasted time and money. Java Logix offers a unique solution. Eco-friendly paperless business cards that are easy to update and share. With our QR code, you can share your card with anyone, anytime, anywhere. It's the easiest way to share your details. Interested in getting one? Click on Get Offer and get your own digital business card today. There we go. And there is a there is a shout out to Preston Mardell because he has done my website. He does all of my ninja stuff for my marketing. So check him out. He's got a special just for you. Just mention my name. And we want to thank him for being and showing and showing up and helping me to serve with pleasure more and more people to help you. So I promised that we would talk about the crystal and the crystal of the week this week. And I'm looking for where, wow, this thing. So is the malachite. Now here is a malachite right here. Now this malachite is about transformation. It's also about protection. It helps with spiritual growth and it provides clarity and insight to your path to spiritual growth. Now I will caution you, if you ever get a raw malachite, please do not touch it. It actually is poison to our skin. It can give you a rash and you can get very sick. So not even when they take this and they make it a tumbled, they have to you wear a lots of things because you can't inhale it either. It's very dangerous. So, but malachite, it for me is very powerful because it helps the immune system and being diagnosed with lupus, fibromyalgia, arthritis, Sjogren's, neuropathy in my hands and my feet, <sighs> cancel the lead, any of that energy. I use this and this is by my bedside because it helps me to feel better with the crystal and I wear it sometimes, not this one, but I wear it sometimes too. So. You know, emotionally, malachite is associated with releasing those emotional baggages, promoting balance and fostering the emotional healing and re resilience. So a really good one to get. Now, if you don't know crystals, you'd like to learn crystals, just reach out to me because I teach crystals online and in person. And remember to clear your crystals. You don't know how just get with me. I'd so appreciate that. And you want to charge them. So fabulous. I hope that was helpful for you to get that. And you know what? I have a message right now. That, you know, Joe Dispenza, he talked about, he talks a lot about science and health and how to connect to your vibrational field and energy. And Joe's great at the science about understanding how energy works and how science is involved. Now, I've been called the energizer. I've been called a lot of different things, actually. But one of the things is taking Joe's teaching of science and coming to see me or even online and you experiencing the energy is different. Because being diagnosed with all of those immune system diseases, I call them diseases, not diseases, diseases. When I was diagnosed with those, there was a couple things that I could have done, right? I could have completely connected to those and held on to those and said, this is who I am now. And you, you're leaning in. Some of you understand what I'm talking about because when the doctor says to you, hey, you're diagnosed with this, this, and this, and when I was diagnosed, I was 19 years old. My whole family, sisters, brothers, aunts, cousins, grandma, has all been diagnosed with the same thing. Some of the variation, even dad with, with diabetes. And most of them said, oh, okay, and started popping pills. Well, what happened to me was I didn't want to pop pills. So I got a massage therapist. And she came over to the house and she started to give me a massage and I literally was screaming, ow, ow, stop. Because it was inflaming my, my skin just to touch. It was welling up and I was screaming, stop, stop, you're hurting me. And she stepped back, I'll never forget it. She stepped back and she said, she started doing this. And I was like, what are you doing? <laughs> and coming from a Catholic and Christian background, I'm like, what are you doing? 
And she's like, I'm going to do this Reiki healing. And I'm like, I don't know what that is. Nobody can heal but but God. And she's she just stood there. And all of a sudden, I started to feel energy. And I said, okay, go ahead. What the hell, right? I was like, I don't want to take these pills. Well, and then all of a sudden, in this beautiful Phoenix day, all of a sudden, I started moving chi. I could feel the energy coming out and I could feel the pain starting to subside. I was amazed and I just kept my breathing. And she even said, breathe, because at that time I wasn't breathing at all. And breath is the big, biggest thing, right? So I started breathing and I started moving the pain out again. Remember when Einstein said, you're not actually moving it out. You're just changing the form of it. And it was in my feet and I started going, oh, my feet, my feet, they're so heavy. Ouch, they hurt, they hurt. And I kind of opened my eyes where I was laying there on the massage table and she started doing this. And then all of a sudden I could feel all of this energy leaving and the pain was leaving. Now it wasn't a hundred percent, but yet there was a significant difference that after I got done, I thanked her and said, wow, I'm going to look into this and went right out got into a group Reiki session to get attuned. That didn't work for me because I didn't realize how connected I am. And I was taking everybody on and I kind of floundered for a little while. And then I found somebody that one-on-one -on -one. and that's how I teach it today is one-on-one -on -one because I understand that you want to be, it's a sacred ceremony to learn Reiki, to learn your vibrational feel, your energy, to experience energy. And when you experience your energy, you know what happens? You start to really connect to your gifts. You start to understand what your gifts are and also what your talents are. So you know what? Say this with me. When I ignite my energy, I ignite my gifts. Everybody, come on. When I ignite my energy, I ignite my gifts. Very powerful, isn't it? Because you have beautiful gifts. So thank you so much again for being here, being kind and commenting, moving the show around to show and to share. Subscribe to my YouTube because I do lots of shorts so you can be the first one to follow and to get that, that information firsthand. Let's just take a deep breath. Wow, what a beautiful, beautiful way. Now, I'm just going to re reiterate, stay to the end because we're going to do that activation, visualization, calibrate your energy to really connect. So drum roll, getting ready. Now, let me say hello to all the people coming on there. She, dear you are, Linda. It's so beautiful. Shawanda, wonderful to see you. Crystals are fun. Thank you so much for your comments. I so appreciate you. So now we're at the point that it is time for who? There we are. There they are. This is the health panel that's coming on right now. So let's welcome them here to the stage. Let's welcome Dr. Sal. Okay, there he is. There, there's Julie. And there is, there we go. Everybody, <laughs> everybody, so wonderful to see you. Now, let's start with Dr. Sal. And could you please give a brief 30 seconds on who you are? Well, I'm a retired physician from what I call a medical system that's broke. And my objective really is to try to get people to take charge of their own health as opposed to relying on a doctor giving you prescriptive medication. And I've taken the so-called holistic approach with by, um, you know, mind, body and soul. That's my objective. Beautiful. Thank you, Dr. Sal. Julie, could you give a little bit of brief? Oh, we can't hear you. What is going on? So muted. Oh, there Thank you go. You. go ahead. <laughs> Here we are. Yeah. Hi, I'm Julie Deanne. I am a transformational life dream builder coach, illumination guide, TEDx speaker, and international best-selling author of my book for children, which would you choose? And as an author contributor to the Art of Connection best-selling series, 365 Days of Gratitude, Volume 4. Yay. Awesome. Awesome. Thank you, Julie. Kathleen Carlson, please go right ahead. 
Hello, hello. Yes, I'm Kathleen Carlson, and I am the CEO and founder of Straight Up Executive Consulting. And when it comes to health, I am all over that with my clients, and I put a heavy emphasis on my guiding and training on mental fitness. Fabulous. And you can tell now, viewers, it's a writer downers. We're getting close to those writer downers in. Be, and that's why I picked these amazing because they're going to be giving you some awesome golden nuggets. So here we go. Let's go to Julie first. Julie, if you could tell us. Um, oh, where are you? Where are you? Where is your question? There he is. Oh, I love this quote that you have. When we take a time within, when we take time within, everyone wins. What do you, what do you mean by time within? You said it correctly. It's a time within. And I actually speak about this in my TEDx talk on YouTube, the number one tool every school needs to teach and every child needs to know. A time within is essentially teaching children and adults that when you go within and you connect to your inner being and you connect that mind, heart coherence, it's just like when we go down deep in the ocean, it doesn't matter what's going on in the surface, deep down it's always calm. And when you learn how to use the breath to calm your body, you, you visualize that powerful love in your mind that, that generates that feeling of love within and you express gratitude just for your beingness, it calms you, it centers you and allows you that no matter what's going on in the outside, you can still remain calm on the inside. And when you're calm on the inside, then you're able to respond in the world with that same love and calmness radiating out. And it does, like you mentioned, Angel Marie, in the beginning, it changes the world around you. The heart energy, 10 times more powerful than brain energy. Fabulous. Absolutely. Thank you. That's a writer downer, people. Writer downer. Right. So thank you so much. I know you guys are laughing at me. So, but it's true. But it is a writer downer. It is true. So, it is. So, Sal, to you, Dr. Sal, um, I'd like to know is, you know, you have some really good tips about understanding from a doctor's point of view. What would be one of your biggest tips for people to have better health? Well, if you watch television today and you take a look when you're driving, there's gyms, there's diet programs on TV everywhere in America. But yet, this past year, we hit 42% obesity in America, and that number wasn't supposed to be hit until 2030. So we're moving at an accelerated rate. One of the things that I've taught, especially in my podcast, is that we have to go back to the mind and back to the heart. So a lot of the stuff that you ladies are talking about becomes very significant because until you change this and this here, you're, you're going to always worship those idols. And, you know, we think that it's idols, some golden calf. It's not. It's the fears. It's the angers, the anxieties that we carry on from childhood that we have to get over. We have to not only forgive ourselves, but others that may have imposed ideas, making us think that we're really inferior and not really... Um, deserving of a better lifestyle. And in doing that, once you align that, and I always say I align your will with God, but really God is just a term that can be defined in so many different ways. And really you can't even define it because it goes beyond our true understanding. Fabulous, is fabulous. That is awesome. Thank you for that. I appreciate that. And you know what? It goes right into line with Kathleen which is kind of the same question. Everything you require is already inside of you. I love that one. And you say that because you're one of the people that when I'm having a day, <laughs> what do I, Kathleen, Kathleen, <laughs> for me, Kathleen. So please uh, double on that. Yeah, you know what? It, thank you, Angel. And, it, and is she fabulous or what? I mean, honestly, just so yes. good. Brings so much amazing energy and as well as our other two guests here today too. And you're right. It does go hand in hand with that. And that is a quote that I have in a couple books and out there. And it is everything you require is already inside of you. And what does that have to do with health? Well, everything, everything, because we know stress is one of the number one 
killers, right? It's what brings everything on. It controls our behavior. It's just big. And, and the whole thing about what you need is inside of you. We're all on this frenzy for that next thing that'll help us, that next thing, the next golden bullet, the next thing that'll take us out. Or we're looking for someone else to blame or, you know, something to stick it on. That creates a frenzy in us that increases our cortisol It and, and all of the things that the doctor can speak to way better than me, but we've all experienced it. So if I could say anything, and I do say to my clients all the time is, you know, let's get the power back in you because the power is in you, the power to control your health, your business, your life, every part of you, that power is in you. And a big part of my job is having them, I won't even say find it, because that's not true, it's always been there, is to remember and to reacquaint themselves with that power that is in them. Beautiful, Kathleen, and, and like what I like to say, of course, is ignite. Just, just it's not find it, it's just like ignite it again, it's there. Get your butt going and ignite that energy. So thank you so much for that. And Julie, what is the number one way to instantly calm down? It's exactly what you mentioned in the beginning and what we've been doing, right? Taking a deep, slow belly breath where you extend the exhalation for longer than the inhalation. Can we can we do this real quick? Can we experience it? Okay. Sure. So what I like to, what I like to encourage people to do is breathe in through the nose, you know, in through the nose for like a count of five and at the top, just hold it for a couple seconds. And then slowly, as if you're blowing out birthday candles or breathing through a straw, breathe out through the mouth for a count of seven and then hold it for two seconds. Okay. So we'll, we'll do that. All right, here we go. Okay. Breathe everybody with your stomach. Yep. Yeah. Breathing in through the nose. Here we go. Hold it. And exhale through the mouth like through a straw. There you go. So it sends a powerful signal to your brain that you are safe, that you're not in the fight or flight. So it takes you out of that sympathetic nervous system, puts you in the parasympathetic which is our rest, digest, create, so we can observe our thoughts and choose to think better. Beautiful. Thank you for that. That's a writer downer. And it's something yeah. to do now. Viewers, there's a thousand different ways that they have out there to breathe. I just need to say that. Mm -hmm. Because you heard me, I teach a different way. It doesn't matter. Whatever yeah. works for you. Right, Julie? Right, guys? Absolutely. I mean, it's like whatever works for you, just freaking do it. Exactly. <laughs> 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 you know how to do that. <laughs> yes. So, Dr. Sell, I have a quote from Mel Robbins. And I want you to double on this and see what you come up with is, your body is an incredible healing machine, and it can heal itself when you treat it right. Give us a doable action to treat it right. Boy. I could give you a dissertation on that, but the best thing to do is to really watch what you're eating. And awareness becomes very important with all of this. Um, stay away from the processed foods, start cooking more at home. Try to eat as organic as possible. I mean, that could be questioned, but at least it starts to put you on a path to improving the types of foods that you're actually you know, eating and consuming because a lot of it is all tainted with a lot of chemicals and toxins. Yes, and you know, that's a great one because past past 20 years, 30 years, they didn't know nutrition. Now that's nope. why Dr. Sal is different. And me and Dr. Sal work together also on some of my things also to help me because I don't always know that doctor view, but he's mm -hmm than just that he's a physician but he's not in just the physician like what used to be like he's not just pushing those pills so thank you so much that's a right downer is to yeah. really understand how are you eating that are you eating for color color to me when they told me that 30 years ago they said you eat the same thing all the time and i was like oh yeah i do don't i i wasn't eating for color 
Powerful. So thank you, Dr. Sal, for that. Check him out. And, you know, here's his email. You got your website. So take a look for sure. Okay. Uh, thank you. So Kathleen is up. And Kathleen, how yes. do you... How do <laughs> How do <laughs> saboteurs affect our health? And what does it mean by saboteurs? Please. Oh, oh, yeah. You know, sabotage, self-sabotaging is something we all do. And I love where Julie went with the deep breath, right? Because anytime we can activate that vagus nerve and get those good hormones flowing, you know, we're on our way to relieving stress. But there's another sign of that. There's another whole piece to that. And that is our own little mind. So if we all think the world's out there to get us, right? The truth is what's really getting us is inside us and it's inside our mind. And there's been massive studies now. And I love this because I've talked to my little simple monkey mind for a lot of years. And now there's finally proof coming out that I'm not crazy. My <laughs> husband said that not quite what that meant, but um, anyway, you know, we all day long have our left side of our brain, our reptilian brain, our subconscious brain that's controlling us all the time, fighting and keeping us in that anxious sense. And we now know that there's actual science behind how does that happen? Why does that happen? That's good to know. What's better to know is how can I limit that? How can I stop that? And so along with the heavy, deep breathing, there's a lot of little things that I have that will neutralize your brain and put you in that good place to make the decisions you need to. Don't make it from fret. Don't make it from fear. Don't make it from flight. Come back over here, get neutral, make it from that um, conscious side, that side where you're saying, okay, I'm in a good state of mind. I'm thinking clearly. I'm able to make good decisions. And isn't that where you want to run your life from? So that's when, when I talk about the saboteurs, we've always just been felt like we were at their mercy. And I'm here to say we are not. And I'm going to give everybody something today to figure out who it is that their saboteurs are. We all have the same, but we all, they're active in us in different times and different ways. And it's important to understand who it is that's getting you. Yes, yes. And it's always you. I love that. Because when, when I call Kathleen, it's like, oh, yeah, oh, yeah, oh, yeah, oh, yeah. I got to look at me. Look at me. Look at me. <laughs> so thank you so much. Great writer downers viewers. Julie, we're going to go back to you right now. And Julie, what is one, what is a way to improve any situation or mood? Oh, I love this because at the beginning you showed that emotional frequency chart. This is three from the top guys. And it's simple. Anybody can do it anytime. It sounds crazy, but it truly is gratitude in any given moment doesn't matter how bad it is. If you can just find one, one tiny little thing to feel grateful for and hang on to that with dear life, hang on to that and just feel it and keep repeating it. And if you can add more to it, great. When you express gratitude, you instantly halt that downward spiral. You halt it. And then the more gratitude you start to pour into feeling, you start to spiral back upwards. You start to feel better. So I definitely encourage everybody, just try it and take any situation that is bothering you and just find something to feel grateful and then find something else. And it could be as simple as at least the sun is up today. At least I have fresh running water. I mean, hey, you know, at least I'm walking on my own two feet. There you go. Thank you so much. For that. Gratitude is huge. The vibrational field. Yes. For sure. And thank you. So Dr. Sal, you want to piggyback on that? What's another way to really shift your mood? As a doctor, you see many, many, many people. What is maybe the top thing that you see in your practice that can help someone in a doable way? Well, in lieu of what Julie was saying, when you're working in a hospital for well over 30 years and you watch people die on a day-to-day -day basis, you really start to be grateful for the fact that you're alive today. Yeah. And every morning I started my day with Napoleon Hills, have a great day every day. And it was just a, some messages that would leave you with something to be grateful for, but be appreciative of the life that you have. And that's why every day was a great day for me because of the fact that I had the gift of life and I had to be aware to make certain 
that I'm going to prevent myself from being in that situation like so many others have in the past. So gratefulness came to me through the idea that watching people pass gives you the ability to understand that life is very precious. Beautiful. And, you know, the practice that you can do, viewers, too, and what he's saying is every morning maybe writing down what those are. Before you go to bed, there's many different ways to do it. But being in grateful gratitude. That happens to me when I'm in the most pain. I'll just be like, ow, 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 ow. Oh, I love it. I love it. I love it. I love my body. I love my body. Oh, I feel good. I feel good. And it helps to feel <laughs> better because the brain can only do one thing. So the next question, and we're pretty close to the end here. So um, la, 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 la. Kathleen, if you could share with us what, uh, what while you're guiding your female leaders in your coaching and stuff, how do you help them with the health? Give us one thing that you do help. Well, we do really look at health in general, um, physical, mental, emotional. And I look at, I'm not a doctor, so I look at it from the standpoint of what do you really want? What do you vision? How do you get clear about literally all areas of health? How do, what do you want? And then what are you willing to do to have that? And then that's where the rubber meets the road, right? Who do you have to be? What do you have to do? to have what it is you want, because I believe everybody deserves to live their vision, their life, their way. So, and specifically, you know, like I said, we get started down that path and we set habits and we talk about things and we hold each other accountable. Well, I hold them accountable, but, um, but I also have a really heavy, heavy emphasis on a back to that mental fitness. Motivation's not enough. Inspiration will fail you. You really have to understand and feel your body and know I'm in flight. I'm in fright. I'm afraid. I'm sabotaging myself. I'm, I'm holding myself back. You have to take massive, massive self accountability. I mean, Beautiful. you just have to, and yeah. then be willing to act. So, that's and that's the biggest thing, right? Is to act the inspirational act, get off your ass and move. I can say that. <laughs> You can, evidently. So the panel that's here today, I mean, wow, you guys, a lots of writer downers. I know that. But they have a free gift for you. And if you, everybody could take about 30 seconds and tell about your free gift. And we're going to start with you, Julie. What is your free gift today? You guys are going to love this. I have tons of mindfulness stuff, but most especially, it's a free nighttime meditation. There's also free coloring pages that go along with the book. I've got a free monthly success masterclass you can join and a free coaching clarity call to help you get past whatever is bugging you sign up and i look forward to speaking with you soon thank you angel marie oh you are so welcome i'm so glad that you were here today also so dr sale what is your free gift what do you give well i've got a little something simple that you could do right at home that'll help reduce pain indigestion and help clear out your mind just some simple things that you could do at home and just take it daily and you'll start to see improvement in your health and just how you feel overall. And being here and watching you, if in conjunction with what you do, it's gonna energize you. Thank you, Angel Marie. <laughs> oh, you're so welcome. And you know, the video, I already watched your video and I already adapted it. So viewers, get that and watch that video and do, do, do. So thank you so much, Dr. Sal. And Kathleen, what is your free gift for these amazing viewers? Well, I have a free assessment for you and it's super easy to do. You go right to the link that's up there and you're going to take about five minutes and you're going to answer some super fast and kind of fun questions. And you are going to get back a comprehensive report that tells you which of those 10 saboteurs are at your highest, right? So they're not all active. They're not all, you know, so you're going to find out which ones are yours. And then the report's going to shine some light and say how that might be impacting you. Because I promise you, I have not had one person take it and say, oh yeah, I was fully aware of that. It just doesn't happen. You get insight you didn't know you, you, you needed. And then I will also say you have my website there. And for any, and, oh, first know that it's completely confidential. Unless you send it to me and there's a place that says you can, it's only coming to you. So you're not sharing your stuff with anybody. 
any way, shape or form. If you want it to come to me and you want to set up a call, you're free to do so. So just jump on my calendar right inside that same link. Thank you so much. And if we could, we're at the end now with everybody's free gift and please take everybody else because I've done the assessment, watched the video. I've listened to some of the meditations from Julie. You really do want it to change your perspective of your life. One word, one sentence. Go ahead, Julie, for the last. When we take one word, joy. <laughs> joy is the spark of life. Ignite your life with joy. Ah, I love that one. Yes, everything is joy is a high up there. Thank you so much, Julie. Dr. Sale. Realize your greatness. Ah, yes, yes. Beautiful. Thank you. Kathleen. Mine is emulate peace when Ooh. you're peaceful inside and you can spread that outside. You lower your stress and you will not believe how many of your troubles will just melt away. Beautiful. Thank you for all the comments coming in from the viewers. Thank you for your time here because it's a labor of love. And I'm going to say song, as you know, this is my signature song. We're going to move to change the vibrational tone. This is the words because the words are the philosophy of ambition, fire and soul. Look within your heart. No, baby. Ask for what you want, show them what you got, take it to the top, don't you ever stop, stop, shine. shine. That's a stretch reliever right there. Raise your vibration, right? Raise it, raise it. Shine on, shine on. That's awesome. Thank you, You're amazing, Angel. Thank you, Angel. Thank you, everybody. Bye, Julie. Bye, Kathleen. Oh my gosh, were they amazing? You can shine it. Raise your vibration. Shine, shine on. Yeah, awesome. So let's just take a deep breath right now. Again, just like Julie said, go ahead and take another deep breath. And let's calm the energy because I know I just went whoosh with your energy. Hi, I'm Angel Marie Monticelli. And this visualization activation will help to calibrate your vibrational field. Make sure you're not driving and take a moment to take another really big, deep breath in. There you go. Take that deep breath in, in through your nose. You have no tears for a reason. And I want you now to take that energy. And I want you to close your outer eyes and open your inner eye as we take this vibrational tone energy hear my words hear the frequency of my words as you start to relax your vibrational field we're going to bring in the malachite that will help do with the immune system and help with that energy we're going to bring that energy of a malachite in today which is very healing so it takes another deep breath and as we take this deep breath we're going to create this space around you with the vibration. Hear my words and even echo my words if it helps as we clear out any and all energies that no longer serve, any belief systems, any, any of those pieces in from all really deep inside that we wanna release from ancestral energies to feel and echo my words now, I feel safe, secure, protected. Wherever you're at, feel the vibration of I feel safe, secure, protected. Feel this as you start to become grounded in this, asking for your, your guides to be around, your power animals to be around, 
whatever you label as your angels, archangels, or past loved ones, come around and feel this vibrational tone of knowing that you are safe, secure, protected right now, grounded in this vibrational field. And using that beautiful medicine of the malachite and bringing that in, I want you to take another deep breath. There you go. There you go. Taking that breath and bring in your solar angels. Also bring in the solar battle angels. Mm. Also breathe as we bring in our solar warrior and energies and angels. Breathe into this. Very nice. Keeping your eyes closed, relaxing, feel the physical body. The auric field around you is starting to cleanse. You may have pits or cuts. You might see these. Now what I want you to do is just smooth them all out as you keep your breath and you keep your breath and that you have this divine protection around you, that you are that divine being and your divine appointment right now, right here is to raise the consciousness to help you to take another deep breath as we bring in the medicine of the beauty of who you are to support this in all the different ways, releasing and letting go of what no longer serves, centering the body, aligning now into your higher power for these wise choices you're going to make. Breathe into my words as you start to ignite this energy. And as you are igniting this energy into your energy field, good, 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 and this limitlessness, we just start to bring in the crystalline gold waters. I'm seeing a crystalline gold, but there's also this blue with it. And as this crystalline blue waters is coming in with such joy, abundance, and beautiful, great health, spiritual awakenings, beautiful, breathe in this beautiful crystalline gold blue waters. And as you're bringing this in, there you go. It's going to a subatomic layer. This is what this beautiful is calibrating. Breathe it in as it's going to calibrate. Feel as it's going to every cell, cell nuclear, every cell unit, to every DNA and RNA, to every system and every organ. Breathe. Hear my words. Take another breath. Breathe. And as you feel this coming through, start to ignite your power, your gifts, your abundance, and being able to know that you're limitless with this crystalline blue gold waters. And as it gently goes through with waves of healing, of rejuvenation, reconnection, recalibration, and as it's coming through, it's washing over you and imagine this limitless they visualize this limitless abundance that you innately have that you deserve the very best and in that deserving the very best breathe into i i deserve the very best echo my words now as you breathe i deserve the very best and this is on all facets to your health to your spirituality, to those tasks you do throughout the day, to your, all your relationships with self, to nature, to other people, to your work, and also that. Breathe into that career, that way that you show up for your job, to also the relationship, the connection, to finances, to money. Yes, breathe into as this understanding these waves and imagine this limitless abundance around you surrounding you overflowing fountain of this abundance with health with spirituality with relationships with money and really hold this fountain as you are this fountain now it's coming through and in this way feeling this all through you down to the subatomic layer of your body to every system, to every organ, to every cell in your body, the DNA. Breathe into that. 
And as you breathe into that, your auric field is now starting to clear. You're starting to feel a little lighter, but all grounded, safe, superior, protected here. And we're going to call upon the trillions and trillions of infinite divine protection to all as we visualize this divine protection around your car, your house, you, your family, your friends, connect to that trillions of infinite divine protection because you are divine. And in your divinity and who you are, feel this as you breathe, breathing it in with the crystalline, golden crystalline blue waters going through every cell. Feel the vibrational feel as the frequency is now calibrating to your desires, to your visualization. And in this place, feel this in your heart. Feel the knowing, knowing, but yet it's that feeling in your heart. Feel it in your heart, thanking your guides, thanking your power animals. And the most important is thank yourself for showing up and investing this time in this vibrational field of calibrating your energy to creating that beautiful wellness, that beautiful abundance in all areas of your life because you are empowered now and feel this empowerment coming right from your heart, from your soul and feel this. Take another deep breath. Beautiful. Whew, there you go. There you go. Another deep breath. Beautiful, beautiful. And now, stay in this if you'd like. And turn this off if you'd like, just for a little bit, so you just stay in that if that feels good. Take a memory picture of it right now so that you can come back to this vibrational field anytime throughout the day to what you feel right now. Beautiful, another deep breath. And okay, there you go. Now let's let it go. And now we're going to start to move our fingers and our hands. And we're going to start to move. Open your eyes and come on back into the room. I'm Angel Marie Monticelli. And remember to do what? Change your mindset. Ignite your energy and shine on. I so appreciate you being here. Until I see you next time. Breathe. Awesome. Awesome. Didn't that feel wonderful? Isn't that, do you feel that energy vibration? I'm so happy that you're with us today. And you know, today we learned a lot with these be the beautiful, the beautiful panel. And remember, those were writer downers. Some of those are really great ones. So go back to this and get those down because it'll help you to change your life. And you know, I want to give you a free gift. They gave you a free gift. I want to give you a free gift. And my free gift is get on my calendar for a 30 minute and let's change your vibrational feel and experience your energy. And maybe even do some healing and I'll show you how to remove pain. I know you're going to love that one. So please go ahead and get on to my calendar. And you know what? I'm here every week with a special guest from all over the world. So check it out. And I thank you so much. Now, next week we have the beautiful, um, uh, how do you say, Marcel? Marcel, she's going to be here next week talking about the energy of igniting joy within you. So you don't want to miss next week either. So come on back and remember to do what? to always remember that to change your mindset, to ignite your energy and to shine on. And what, what am I really saying here? Get out of your head, be aware of what's going on here, but get out of here, come to the heart center. And what are you really responsible for in that moment for people, places, things, and to ignite that energy of you stepping into you. And then the shine on is from the gut. And that is about the action that you're going to take. So the awareness, the responsibility, and what is the action? So change that. Until I get to see you next week, thank you so much for being here. And remember to come back to that meditation. That meditation is really powerful. So ending with that, I appreciate you. And reach out to all my guests. They're there to help you. They're so beautiful and wanting to help you. So until I see you next time, I love you so much.